How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to teach you something extremely important but at the same time that is very very easy to do and that is how to identify an iPhone status and by iPhone status I mean to identify if the iPhone is brand new, uh, if it is a replacement unit, if it is a refurbished iPhone or if it is even a personalized iPhone and not only that in this video I'm also going to teach you how can you see when the iPhone was activated because of course you want to cross both of them you want to cross this information with that one and then you want to realize if you want to buy this iPhone because this whole purpose of this video is if you actually let's say you want to buy an iPhone from a friend or uh, from a store a shady store that you don't trust 100% or maybe from the internet uh, but you don't know if it is new if it is brand new if it is refurbished if it has been activated before or not and again with this video I'm gonna teach you all of that I'm gonna answer all of those questions and again that's pretty pretty easy to do so without further ado Let's begin. So as I said, this is very, very easy. It's not complicated at all. You're just going to need the iPhone itself. Okay, so get the iPhone uh, and then you're going to go to settings uh, and then you're going to scroll down to general and then you're going to take a look at about that first option right there at the top. And all we need to take a look first is the model number. Okay, so we have model number right there and it's a crazy combination of uh, letters and numbers and everything. Okay, so here is where the magic happens. If the model number begins with the letter M, as you can see uh, in my example, it means that it is normal, brand new iPhone. There's nothing special here, okay? Uh, but if the model number begins with the letter F, it means it's a refurbished iPhone. If you're not 100% sure what a refurbished iPhone is, I have a dedicated video exclusively on this. It's a very nice video that I recommend that you go ahead and watch. I'm gonna put a card right here. Okay, so go ahead, click, have a look, uh, and then come back to this video. I recommend that you do that. So it's a refurbished iPhone. Some people don't like buying refurbished iPhones, so then you know uh, what you're getting each into. You also have the possibility that the model number begins with letter N, and that means that that iPhone is a replacement unit, meaning that somebody bought it new, like an M iPhone, okay, a brand new iPhone, and then for some reason they, they, they gave it to Apple, and then Apple gave them a new phone. So this is a replacement unit and the thing is uh, it wouldn't be uh, uh, important uh, if the iPhone is a replacement unit or not but the tricky part is pretty much all replacement iPhones are refurbished iPhones so you gotta keep you gotta keep that in mind as well so if it begins with the letter N there's a huge chance it's also a refurbished iPhone and if it begins with the letter P it just means that it is a personalized iPhone so it was engraved or something like that which it could, it could be a big deal or not but at least you know that it could be uh, there's you can identify up uh, uh, an engraved a personalized iPhone okay so now you know if the iPhone again is is each uh, you know the status each of those four different status but of course uh, you also want to know when the iPhone was activated because let's say uh, you, you see that it's brand new but not only because it's brand new it means that it hasn't been uh, activated three months ago for example and even if it is refurbished it doesn't mean that it is again it has been activated months ago it could be that it is a refurbished iPhone but it has never been activated or it has so how can you actually identify? Because again, a lot of people don't care if the phone is uh, refurbished or not. They just wanna see if the phone is brand new in a way that has never been activated. And that is very easy as well. And we can see that on that very same screen. Let's get back to it. So as you guys can see under serial number, which of course I kept it hidden this whole video for security reasons, uh, you can see limited warranty. And you can see that it expires and there's the date. You can tap on it. Okay, uh, and you're gonna see that limited warranty, your product is covered and eligible for a hardware repairs and services. Uh, and the most important thing is when it expires. So you can see that it expires on February the 2nd, 2021. So as you can see, this iPhone, which is my iPhone, was activated three months ago uh, because uh, it was actually activated on February the 2nd, 2020. And that's how you see when an iPhone was activated. It is that easy. It is super easy to see. So now we have the information if it's new, if it's refurbished, and also when it actually was activated. So then uh, let's say you're going to buy an iPhone uh, now. Okay, you're going to buy it right now. And today when I'm filming is uh, May the 5th. 
2020. So then uh, if the seller actually like activates the, the iPhone for the first time and shows you that screen, you're going to need to see that the coverage of the warranty, the warranty uh, coverage is going to have to be May the 5th, 2021. That's it. If it's previous, if it's uh, uh, earlier than that, then you're going to know that that iPhone was previously activated. That's it. Uh, and if somebody's trying to sell you a really old iPhone, which is like one year old or two years old or anything like that, that information, that menu with the limited warranty is going to be gone. You're not going to see it anymore. So if you pick up an iPhone and you open that very same menu that we were looking at and you don't see any warranty information at all, that means that that iPhone is at least one year old or more. So again, that's how you can identify everything and how we can really, really, really be sure when you want to buy an iPhone. That's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back in a few days. Bye bye.